These are the Tapo smart plugs and today we are going to turn some dumb devices into smart devices using these. There are three issues I am trying to solve. The first is the electric blankets in my kids beds. Great devices, they keep them warm at night but they never turn off. And while it's nice to just hop in their bed and have it nice and warm during the day on a very cold afternoon, it is a bit of a safety concern to have them on 24 hours a day without them ever turning off. How you're allowed to sell an electric blanket that never has a safety switch to turn it off is beyond me, but these devices are gonna solve that problem. To install it, you simply unplug the electric blanket, plug it into your Tapo smart plug, and then put it back into the power board. There's a handy light which will flash green and orange to let you know it's ready to pair. We're going to go ahead and do the second bedroom. Bedroom's done. Now the second problem I'm trying to solve with these smart plugs are the charging of my gardening devices. The problem I have is my shed is all the way over there. And on rainy days like today, I have to walk all the way around the house all the way around and I am lazy and I don't want to get my feet wet. And the third problem I'm trying to fix is the portable heater to keep our baby warm. It's winter time in Australia so it gets very cold and we want to keep him warm at night. I'm hoping to combine this with a temperature sensor so hopefully when the room gets too cold, it'll automatically kick the portable heater on. Now that we've installed the devices, let's go ahead and set them up. Head over to your app store and have a look for Tapo. This is the app you want, TP-Link Tapo. Go ahead, install the application. It wants you to create an account. Once you've logged in, you'll see a screen like this. We're going to head over to Home. And we're going to click the little plus button in the top right hand corner and go add device. We're going to search for plugs. And add the model of your device. Now I've got the Tapo P100. Because our devices are already flashing orange and green, we're going to click the button. Enable our Bluetooth. Allow. Enable while using the app. And now it'll automatically pick up your device. Now you want to connect it to your home network. Because I'm using a mesh network, it's picked up my home Wi-Fi three times. I'm just going to click the one that I think has the greatest signal. It's now connected to your network. Give it a name. Now because I installed all three at the same time, I don't actually know which device this one is. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. I'm just going to allocate a random room. Choose an icon, and finally check firmware. We're going to go ahead and do the update, and we're all done. I'm going to run around and quickly find out which device this is. So when you set these up, maybe it's a good idea to do it one by one. By process of elimination, it was bedroom number one. When it's installed, it'll no longer be flashing orange. You'll have a solid green light. Here we have the blanket set on three. If I go ahead and click the off button, we can now see that it is turned off. After correctly configuring the device, the plus button to add another device somehow bugged out and I couldn't see that anymore. I simply had to close the app and go back into it. So if that happens to you, just be aware of that little bug. Now that we've got all of our devices configured, we're going to set up the integration into our Alexa device. While we're going to automate the turning on and off of the electric blankets, when it comes to charging my tools in the shed, I want to be able to say, hey Alexa, charge my tools. To do that, we are going to head over to the Amazon Alexa app. We're going to click on devices, click the plus button in the top right hand corner and go add device. We're going to go for a plug and we want TP-Link Tapo. Go yes, yes, yes. Agree and link. Okay, it's picked up all three devices. We're going to set up the shed first. We're going to say it's in the shed. 
And to be honest, I'm not going to set up the other two because I won't really use the voice controls for that. Now our shed is turned on, I should be able to say, Hey Alexa, turn my shed off. Okay. And we can now see it's turned off. There you go, we now have voice integration. I no longer have to go out in the wet and cold to charge my devices, which is pretty cool. Now the final part is the automations. For the electric blanket, we can actually do it directly within the Tapo app. So if you click into your device and hit schedule, you can actually schedule when you want things to turn on, turn off. You can set it based on a timer or if you're away from the house. Now for me, I have many different smart devices and I hate having to go to individual apps to control different automations. I like having a single point of contact within Home Assistant. So for the final step, we're gonna integrate these devices into Home Assistant and set up automations within that software. Okay, we're gonna head over to Home Assistant. We're gonna click on settings, go to devices and services, and we're gonna click devices and go add device. Over here, we are going to look for TP-Link, who owns Tapo, and we're going to click on Tapo. Go ahead and click OK. We're going to leave host empty, so it'll automatically discover all the devices that we have. All three popped up. Now, it looks like we might have to do this individually. Go ahead and chuck in your username and password for your TP-Link account. Assign the device to an area, click finish, and then rinse and repeat the process for all of your devices. Now all of our devices have been added. If we head back to our overview panel, we can see the devices have been allocated. So at the moment we have our bedroom with Cooper and Noah's electric blanket set, and then we also have the shed. Now at the moment, all of my devices are turned off. I'm going to go turn the shed on. And we should see in a minute that the shed does update and turn on like so. It's now blue. That confirms the integration is working. Now for the final cherry on top, we are going to do the automations. To do that, we're going to head over to settings, automations and scenes. And we want to go create automation. We're going to do this automation based on a time. So at seven o'clock in the morning, roughly when we want the kids to get out of bed, we're going to turn the blankets off. If we search for time, we can go ahead and say at the fixed time. So at seven o'clock in the morning, then we want to turn the following two devices off. We're going to search for the electric blanket and we're going to say turn off electric blanket and then we're going to do the same for my other son. So we'll have a look at Noah electric blanket. So at 7 o'clock in the morning we're going to turn both of these off. Go ahead and hit save, give it a name. And now we're going to create another one to turn them on automatically at night time. So we're going to say this time at 7 o'clock at night. That way when they go to bed around 7.30, 8 o'clock, their bed is already nice and warm for them. We're going to say turn the following two devices on. We're going to turn it on. The final thing we're going to do is go ahead and run it to confirm that we've actually configured things correctly. We can do this by checking the app so everything is turned off at the moment. So what we're going to do is click in to turn the kids electric blanket on, confirm that it'll automatically trigger at 7 which is what we want at night. We're then going to go back one and we can click this little hamburger menu and click run. What this will do is actually execute the automation script for us. Now if I refresh my app, I can see that both of the blankets have been switched on, which is exactly what we want. We're then going to click in to turn the kids electric blanket off, make sure the trigger is correctly set at 7 o'clock in the morning, which it is. And now we're going to do the same thing. Click the hamburger menu and click run. That will now turn everything off. And again, if I refresh the app, we can see everything is turned off correctly. 
I've got to say, I am super happy with these. The setup was extremely easy to do, and I love how I can turn dumb devices into very smart devices using these plugs. I'll leave a link in the description down below for anyone who would like to pick some of these devices up. It does help the channel out tremendously when you use those links, so thank you. If you're new here and you enjoy tech content, consider subscribing where you get a new video every single week. And as always, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will catch you in the next one.